Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing fantastic. In today's reading, I'm taking a look at your life for the entire month of October 2022. Whether love comes through, career and finances comes through, spiritual guidance, or all of the above, I'll share whatever messages, as long as these messages are for your highest and greatest good, okay? So, I've already pre-shuffled, I'm just gonna give it a few more ghosts for you on camera, this way you feel more connected to your reading, and we'll begin. Oh, and I'm using the Tarot of Dragons for all of you tarot deck collectors out there. Look at the detail off of those dragons. That is so freaking cool. Anyways, I'm going to be pulling a 10-card spread, so let's begin. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Taurus today? October 2022. This is for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Taurus placements too, by the way. 10-card spread, Taurus, October 2022. One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful Taurians. All right, first card out is the High Priestess. This is Major Icon for Cancer, but also Pisces. Is it focusing? My camera is old. The King of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. The Knight of Cups, Pisces Energy, but also Cancer Scorpio. Someone's got romantic feelings for you. The Two of Swords. The Ace of Cups, look at that. What this Knight of Cups is holding is this Ace of Cups. Some of you guys are getting a love offer, possibly from someone that kept their feelings a secret with that High Priestess, and they just needed their confidence up to come towards you with that King of Wands energy. Or someone is just admiring how attractive you are, the energy you give off, you radiate. Some of you guys could have Leo in your chart. Okay, you're looking really good in someone's eyes. Let's continue. The lovers, major account for Gemini. Someone's making a choice from the heart this month to be more open to you, to be more vulnerable with you. They may have not been vulnerable. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't get the uh, strength card in the challenge position. It's like someone here was choosing to ignore their feelings, choosing to ignore making a very important decision. If there's like a big, huge decision, you know, that's surrounding you guys. And if you don't have anyone right now, Taurus, and you're single as a Pringle, this could be implying that in the month of October, as we enter Scorpio season, because this is very watery energy coming through, you're going to meet someone brand new that has yet to be revealed to you, but your intuition is letting you know, oh, there's definitely someone heading your way. Um, you're going to meet them in Scorpio season, okay? We have the Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys are saving up for a big purchase this month, whether a down payment on a home um, or something really nice for yourself with that Four of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords and your advice this month. The Two of Cups. Your potential challenge this month, the Ten of Wands. Overall energy on the bottom, the Ace of Swords. Dang, you see how that sword is coming out of that hatching egg, that dragon egg? This is telling me that this truth, this clarity, this, this revelation is getting ready to be born in October. And it's going to give you the, uh, the mental understanding of what to do next. And with the Lover's card being right above the Two of Cups as your advice, not only is someone making a choice from the heart with you, you're needing to make a choice from the heart with a soulmate. All right, because the Two of Cups indicates that there is a soulmate that's gonna be playing a pivotal role in your life this month, and you are gonna to need to make a choice too, okay? Whether to accept their love, whether to just focus on your career and your money, as I do see where you're really like focusing on saving up money or creating a strong, stable foundation for yourself, okay? This is where clarifying is gonna help me. Now, with the challenge being the 10 of wands, it's almost the energy of someone letting a blockage or a barricade interfere with what they want. But I am strongly getting the, the energy that someone's getting ready to push to the surface, all right, after being complacent, all right? Someone's been stalling, it feels like, waiting for it, like that surge of energy to just be more like, all right, here's the deal. This is what I want, this is what I need, and are you on board, Ten of Wands? Okay. The moon, the Ace of Swords. Hmm, I wanna know why that Nine of Swords is here, though. 
that nine of swords is telling me that someone is experiencing some sleepless nights about um, a very important decision. I'm trying to figure out if it's related to something involving your money, Taurus, or if it's relating to this other person. Because it's clear that there's a person here that you're romantically tied to. I mean, come on, the Lover's Card, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, it's love. All right, I didn't want this to be a love reading, but I can't help what comes out. And some of you Taurians are really experiencing something important with a love interest and need to hear this message. All right, so let's get nosy. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, Taurus, the link to my website can be found in the description box below this video. But I'm still running a contest on my All Signs reading I did the other day, giving away a free personal reading. All you have to do is go on to that All Signs and enter into the contest. All right, so why is that Knight of Cups here? Why is that Knight of Cups here? It almost feels like with that High Priestess here, someone had to keep a romance a secret for whatever reason, all right? Whether someone was like wanting to like not tell friends and family about a love connection just yet until they knew within themselves where it could lead, or there's a reason why someone needed to keep it a secret, like loose lips, or loose lips, loose lips sink ships type of deal. Someone felt like revealing how they truly felt was going to bring some, you know, burdens in their life, maybe. Why is that Knight of Cups here? Why is that Knight of Cups here for Taurus's October 2022 reading? The Five of Pentacles and Justice. Some of you Taurians may have pulled back your energy from someone because they weren't revealing their true intentions or their feelings towards you, or this is flipped and this is what someone did to you because they felt like they didn't know where you wanted the relationship to go all right and for others this is just a five percent chance that some of you guys are going to be resonating with this but if you look closely at this card you see how this person i know it's a cat this person is being left down the cold by somebody if you look closely at that window the the cat that this cat is in love with is cuddling with another cat so some of you guys may be in a third party situation where someone is waiting on another person to make a decision in regards to romantic love and is keeping the connection a secret until a decision is finalized. That's not gonna be for everybody. Because I am seeing the justice card where it could imply that someone's waiting for someone to finalize a divorce before they make their move. But it has to watch their person still be with someone else in the process, all right? Now, let me clarify that High Priestess, and now give me a little bit more insight of what's going on with this love connection. Why is that High Priestess here? Why is that High Priestess here? Why is that High Priestess here? The Seven of Pentacles. Someone has been waiting patiently to reveal, um, reveal something. They've kept it to themselves, whether you or this person. Okay, the High Priestess is the energy of, all right, I need to keep this to myself. I need to zipper up and less is more right now. And when the time is ready, based on my intuition, I will reveal what is kept to me. And the High Priestess connects to the 12th house, which is all about what is a mystery, what is connected to someone's fears, illusions, and what is connected to the subconscious mind if one taps into it through meditation or hypnosis. All right, I love sleep hypnosis videos, by the way. Um, the world, someone's wanting a chapter in their life to close out so that way a new one can start right in its place. And the message I just got loudly was, someone is trying to replace what is lost before they actually lose it, okay? Now, for me to get that message, it almost feels like either you or someone that you're connecting to is still closing out something with somebody that they're not happy with anymore and already finding someone to build a new life with before actually losing the other connection is what I feel. And I don't know about that. It's, it's usually recommended that someone heal and... Um, heal and grieve a connection before getting into a new connection, but that's just me. Take it however it resonates. I do feel like relationship hopping um, can only go so far, all right? But I know everyone's situation is gonna be different. There's always gonna be exceptions, but that's the message that just came out. Can I get a card on that King of Wands? Can I get a card on that King of Wands? The Six of Cups, okay? 
someone could have children right now and they're trying to do what's best for children involved um, but for others there's somebody here that's thinking about you a lot six of cups it's the energy of feeling very nostalgic looking at photographs looking at text messages that you guys have shared together so for example say you've gone like six days without talking to each other this person's like huh i wonder what taurus is doing i miss them it's that type of energy okay but i'm also getting the vibe that something from someone's past is you know creating some resistance for someone's present and future moving forward okay three of wands someone's wanting to explore their horizons see what else is out there you know trying to like let me get a card on that ten of wands and then there's the king of wands some of you guys could definitely have leo in your chart i keep on getting a leo reference or you guys met somebody in leo season the world card in the four of pentacles so someone's feeling um, a strong burden in regards to closing out a major chapter to embark on a brand new one because the world card is a chapter closing. It's the last card in the tarot deck, which then leads to a new, a new beginning for somebody. All right. It feels like um, someone may be holding onto a grudge as well with that four of pentacles or is trying to just focus on their career and their finances during this time and sweep this under the rug right now because it's too challenging for somebody because that two of swords is the energy of turning a blind eye to something that needs to be addressed, okay? I'm strongly getting the vibe that someone here, either you or someone that you're connecting to has become a bit complacent and is stalling um, because of fear fear of making this decision and you know what could happen after you know i mean the lover's card is a choice in love now i don't have the three of swords so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna stamp it on a piece of paper whether it feels like a third party but i do get the sense that someone feels like if they were to be completely open about a connection there's gonna be people that are gonna have something to say, okay? Why is that two of swords here? And I am so sorry if you can hear a lawnmower in the background. We just had a really bad hurricane and a lot of people are cutting down trees still that fell over. Why is that two of swords here? The page of swords. Someone feels like they need just a little bit more information before they can actually um, take the plunge and zero in on what this purpose is to move forward, okay? Seven of Cups tells me that there's some confusion here. And then there's the Ten of Wands again. Can I get a card on that Ace of Cups? Can I get a card on that Ace of Cups? There is so much water in this reading. Um, so someone's throat chakra is being activated during this time, okay? After keeping things bottled in. Why the Ace of Cups? The Three of Cups. This is all about celebration, coming together with friends and people that you enjoy spending time with. It's my dating card. It's my reconciliation card. It's my third party, too many cooks in the kitchen card. Um, but it involves a stable new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. But someone's being a, a bit wishy-washy because the Two of Swords is the energy of, okay, I'll do it. No, I'll wait till next weekend. No, I promise I'll do it Sunday. No, I meant the other Sunday. It's a very back and forth energy and it's starting to worry someone that someone is being intentionally stalled because they have no intentions of actually bringing something to the forefront and bringing it to a stable commitment, all right, is what I feel. So it's like um, whoever is stalling is doing it because they're nervous about something and I don't know why they're nervous. I mean, I don't have the Three of Swords here, so I'm not gonna say any of that just yet, but it does feel like there is a opportunity to have something really, really stable with that Ace of Pentacles, but, and then there's the Ace of Wands, but it's like nudging someone to do it is turning into the feet. It's the energy of pushing to the surface. I'm really getting the, the energy of push to the surface. Someone here is more resilient than the other. Someone here is like, there's no need to push, there's no need to push, while another person's like, no, push, push. Stop dawdling, dawdling, dawdling. I haven't heard that word in a while. Can I get a card on that lovers? Major Arcana for Gemini. Can I get a card on the lovers? Major Arcana for Gemini. Maybe someone's like, you know, still like, haunted by their past. They've got ghosts from the past still haunting their present relationships. 
and they might, might need a little bit more time to, I don't know, what is this lover's card? The Queen of Pentacles. Taurus energy, but also Virgo and Capricorn. This choice in love is connecting to you guys. Someone is seeing you as someone very beautiful, handsome. You got it all together. You look good. You smell good. You take good care of yourself. You, you provide a very peaceful, loving home. Maybe someone is from a background where it was a little bit like chaotic in their life because fives represent challenges, and when they're around you, they feel like they can breathe again. You might have someone that deals with panic attacks or anxiety disorder, nine of swords, because of the environment that they grew up in or they are familiar with, all right? I mean, growing up as kids, we're just like freaking computer hard drives downloading all the information around us. So if we saw mom and dad always fighting, growing up, we're gonna think fighting with our spouse is something that's normal. All right, someone's got this energy where calm is like unfamiliar, but they, they're learning that they like it with the Queen of Pentacles. You always provide that calm environment, Taurus. I've been saying that for you for a while now. And there's the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Someone here is learning a lot about what they want in love. And for others, someone here is struggling with making a decision to fully commit to this, not because of not wanting the other person, but because of something else that feels bigger than that. And then I got the death card. So for some of you Torians, someone needs to fully like put something in, in the ground, throw dirt on it and you know, grieve it and process the, that grief and move on from it to having new with you. Okay. And um, there's the queen of wands, temperance, and I already have the king of wands right here. Can I get a card on that four of pentacles? Can I get a card on that Four of Pentacles, please, for Taurus? The Fool. Someone's holding on to this hope of having a new start with someone, okay, or something. And I just said the World card is the final card in the Tarot deck, and the Fool is starting anew, okay? Someone here is, like, really excited for where something is leading them, okay? Feeling like the weight of the world is going to be relieved from someone's shoulders by taking this necessary action. But in order to do that, got to walk away from something, Eight of Cups. Some of you guys are struggling with walking away from a job to start a new job. Some of you guys are struggling with moving. Maybe you're scared about this new location, but I'm getting a strong 98% of you are dealing with someone that needs to like let something from their past, stay in their past and, and work through that, that insecurity or those heart feelings in order to have something new with you. Or there's actually still a person in one's life that they're having trouble making a deciding factor on. Okay, well that's you. Can I get a card on the Two of Cups as Taurus's advice? I mean, you're the one coming up with the Two of Cups as your advice, so maybe you're the one that's needing to make this decision, and this person's waiting on you. Why the Two of Cups? The Emperor. Aries energy, and you are the Empress. Tower. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. The Tower comes in as a shock. It's a revelation. It's, you know, seeing something, you know, come crumbling down in order to rebuild. What is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords? Judgment. Someone's trying to make the right decision. They're wanting to use their better judgment, and maybe they're just trying to get all the facts first with that Ace of Swords before doing this, whether you or someone that you're connecting to. But right now, something is being kept hidden with that moon energy, okay? But there's a lot of... A lot of desire here. Someone's daydreaming about the other person while procrastinating making this choice. All right, so let me um, pull from my Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. I love these cards. For Zodiac signs, I have strong Cancer Pisces in this reading. Strong Cancer Pisces. But I also have Libra, Leo, Aries, um, but it really could be anybody. Oh, and Gemini. It could be really anybody. It's all about the energy. Please rock that like and subscribe button if this helped. And if you would like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box. But I also encourage you to put in that entry on my all signs reading and I'll pull the winners Thursday night. Push to surface. You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. <gasps> 
Chris, did I not say like a few minutes ago, someone's wanting to push to the surface while the other person is like, why bother pushing or something like that and that they're stalling? I said that. You guys, I said that. I even did that little annoying little thingy, that little push thing. <laughs> so, anywho, what's on the bottom? Looking at the underbelly, number six. Number 27 could be important to somebody. Be sure that you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you are working on could use some fine tuning. Maybe distract yourself with a hobby or a project right now while this is all happening. All right, especially if it's something out of your control. All right, so I hope this reading helped. I love you guys to pieces. Later, Gator Taurus. I love you.